So this is going to be a tutorial on how to make the uh, Overwatch models load faster. If you ever get in games where none of the models are loading or have loaded, everyone's just like a nameplate on the floor, then this is going to be a tutorial on how to fix it. If you just want the uh, the basic, you know, solution, it's just to keep rapidly alt tabbing. This video is just going to show you the difference that alt tabbing makes and prove that it's not just a fucking fluke. Of course, Shadowplay didn't want to pick up my fucking mic the first time, so enjoy this fucking commentary. As you can see, we're loading in game right now. now arriving um, I don't know if you saw it before, but the menu, like the, the background of the menu wasn't loading and all that. So we're coming into Ilios now. And I want you to pay attention to the sort of background model of the McCree. The McCree isn't loading here, it's just not loading. And you'll see here as uh, we get in game as well, just how long it takes for the models to take. By the time the game is actually started, the models still have not loaded. And the bots do take quite a while to get out of spawn, so you can imagine in a real game, this might have been, you know, a bit worse of a situation. And I can tell you in actual competitive games where everyone's got skins, the servers are different and all that. It does take a fair bit longer to load. You will be normally having the first one or two fights without any models, usually, or at least I do. But yeah, as you can see in the background, models are just not loading. We're currently at like, what, around 53 seconds. We've been in the game, we've had the map loaded for a minute, and there's still no models loaded. Hello. Five, one. Spawn Capture doors are open, and like I said, of course, the bots take fucking forever to come out of spawn. And then, I believe we get Roadhog load in, and then everyone else comes in. So now I'm going to do the uh, same thing, only I'm going to rapidly alt-tab in and out of the game. And you'll see just how much of a difference that makes. As you can see, I'm already starting to alt tab in and out of game just as it's loading in. Arriving at Watchpoint, Gibraltar. And again, you're just continuing to alt tab in and out of the game. Prepare your defenses. And remember before how the uh, McCree model didn't load in? Well, you'll see shortly that uh, the McCree model does load in at around yeah, 28 seconds. The McCree model in the background has completely loaded in. And as you can see, instantly, as soon as I get in game, the models have entirely loaded in, except for Zarya's gun, and then you see then, again, with another alt tab, Zarya's gun comes in instantly, basically. I can assure you that the enemy team also has fully loaded in, but I was unable to sort of look into their spawn room and see them. And again, just to uh, sort to of, arrival. you know, reconfirm this alt tabbing idea, I've got another comparison where, again, I'm not going to be alt tabbing Prepare and then comparing that to the time Select in which I was alt tabbing. And again, you'll see the same thing you saw before. My Korean model doesn't load in, team takes forever to load in, 
yet the one where I am alt tabbing takes almost no time in comparison. Attackers incoming in 30 so this basically just confirms what I thought from the start, which is it's not anything to do with fucking hardware or any shit like that. It's to do with incompetent fucking code monkeys at Blizzard not being able to write a fucking game. Stop telling me to get more RAM, because that's obviously not the fucking problem. And if anyone does tell you that you need Five, more RAM, four, don't fucking listen three, to them. Two, they don't know One. what they're talking about. Attackers incoming. Hope this helps. Hope Blizzard fixes Hang this, but they up. can't even fix fucking hero balance, so... Can't do much, can they? 